Dobri Den. Welcome back guys to the Minecraft military force. Right behind me are a bunch of Mi-8 helicopters and they're also known as the Mi-17 for their export variant. It's basically the Soviet slash Russian transport helicopter among the world's most produced helicopter and it's basically the backbone of the Russian and the Ukrainian army aviation. So I have a lot of variations here but first Let's take a look at them on the actual battlefield. Now, this is completely unrealistic. Uh, they probably wouldn't put this this close to the front line. But yeah, over here we have some Russian uh, Mi-8 AMTSH. These are basically the assault uh, helicopters for transporting troops. And I have one down here. And the thing about all these Mi-8s that you see on this map, they're actually all different. None of them are the same design. Even this one and this one, they're not the same. You can see this one has the Adidas markings and the sideways V and also uh, the back part is actually curved, much like the normal Mi-8. Well, this one right over here, this one is slanted and this is like the cargo ramp version of it. So it's flatter at the back. Then this one, this one is just painted in gray marking. Now, if you take a look on the other side of the map, we have some more of these Mi-8s. Now, these are the Ukrainian ones, so I have like four different versions of this. This one is a Naval Aviation Mi-8 MSBV, and it has like this brown spotted camouflage. And then we have over here, this is the Mi-8MT. It's equivalent to the Mi-17. And yeah, it's a totally different livery from the other one. Ukraine also uses two stripes bends on pretty much all their helicopters. And then down over here, we have the Afghanistan livery. This is donated by the US. This helicopter is actually the Mi-17 V5. And this one is also a Mi-17 V5. Uh, the US actually purchased this from Russia. And since Afghanistan fell, the US, they took these helicopters and sent them to Ukraine. And they have like this Ukraine livery. And then right over here, we have just, it's put in this Ukrainian camouflage. So I probably be doing the tutorial on this one. But yeah, here's what it'll look like if you make a little diorama, all the Mi-8s, you can have them landing. And in addition to troop transport, because they carry these weapons, like they have these rocket pods and they sort of angle the helicopter upwards and then fire uh, to give some support to the infantry down below. All right, so now that we've seen them in the diorama, let me go over the specifics of each variant. So first off, I'll be showing you off the Russian Mi-8 AMT SH. So I actually have three of them. So here we have the gray one, and then we have two of these camouflage ones. So first off, we have this gray version of it. It's basically one big giant gray livery and they have the red star here. They have markings here. This could be either red or yellow. And then we have the Russian Z marking here. And then they say like Russian Air Force um, on this, I don't know, this boom thing. We got red tips on the horizontal stabilizer. And um, yeah, we also got an armament uh, pylon here. You could put S8 rockets there. And here's like a little ladder to uh, climb on board. And they also have like these avionics things here. Maybe it's a camera and then some kind of antennas at the tips. All right, so moving on to the next one. This one has a cooler camouflage and you'll probably see this one a lot more commonly than that one. But this one is different because it actually doesn't have uh, weapon pylons on the side. Like some of these helicopters, they don't have it. So I think it's pretty much an optional piece. And they also have the code right here. And the AMT has the flares right over here sticking out in the hole. See the same thing as the other one. And this one is the cargo ramp version of it. So this part is all flat. It's not really rounded out. So if we take a look at the next one, it's pretty similar, but there are some differences with this. Uh, so if we go over here, the back is rounded out like a normal Mi-8. We also have the Russian V marking here and the Adidas three stripes, which are seen on Russian helicopters. But that is confusing because Ukraine uses two stripes. This helicopter is also different because it has these dust covers over the air intakes. So some of these helicopters, they have these optional pieces. And also another difference is this one has the weapons pylon. There's actually this UPK-23 gun pod. So this thing right there is a gun, good fire. And in addition to that, it also has like these avionics on the tips of the wing and a little bit on the tail. Um, I don't know really much about it. If you know the name of it, let me know down in the comment section. But yeah, now let's go move on to the Ukrainian side. 
So first off, we have the Mi 17 V5. This is actually uh, donated by the US, I believe, because I don't think Ukraine had this before the war, nor any other country donated this. And by the way, all these past helicopters, they have these dolphin nose. The older Mi 8s will have a glass nose, so we'll get to that later. And these two helicopters are the same model, I guess just repainted, and they have horns above the cab. So this is a Mi 17 since it's an export variant. Uh, but if it was in Russian service, it would be the Mi 8 MTV-5. Basically the same thing, the only difference is the name. Uh, this one, the Ukrainians, they love to put these Ukrainian markings on the shield. There's actually this window here and they have like this shield on the exterior. Uh, but I just used it for the 3D effect. They have this cool livery and I'm not exactly sure if Russia and Ukraine, they have like, the same colors for the tan. And we have the Ukrainian roundel here. And then there's like this like dark section here. I don't know, some of these helicopters actually have like this dark section. Maybe it's for IR suppression, like heat suppression. And then we got the two bands for Ukraine, the invasion stripes. All right, so the next helicopter, this one is in the Afghanistan livery. Again, the US bought these from Russia to give to Afghanistan, but Afghanistan, they collapsed. So that's why they have like this livery. Yeah, Ukrainian stripes again, Ukrainian stripes here. Slightly different paint job over here. Yeah, that's basically pretty much it. And then the next one, this one is the Mi 8 MT. So for this helicopter, what I did, I added this um, gun here in the front. Sometimes they add this, sometimes they have like this radar nose. Uh, we've got the Ukrainian markings here. And there also is this long part here. Now it's actually called a cabin heater. Heats up the cabin. And they're actually on all of these models. So if you look at the uh, newer Mi 17, it's gonna be up here, but in like the older Mi 8s, they're gonna be down here. So so that is a difference to look out for. You won't see this on the other side. And if you're wondering what this bump here is pretty much the fuel tanks. So again, it's a different livery. And I think on the Ukrainian ones, uh, this thing right here, this is going to be where they have the flares popping off and they do that every time they launch an attack. And again, this one is using the glass cockpits, so it doesn't have that dolphin nose like the previous helicopters we just took a look at. All right, so next up, and the last one, this is also the Ukrainian, gonna be the Naval Aviation Department. So this is actually the Mi-8 MSBV. I think it's some kind of like a modernization program, but uh, for this model, I have a lot of these brown markings here. Ukraine just has a ton of Mi-8s. You know, this is just one of their camouflage color schemes. This one has, I think these are dustbin covers, but they're slightly different design. They're not really as long as the other ones that we've seen before. This helicopter is also different from the other ones since it has the tail rotor blade on this side. If you look at all the other ones, they're on this side. And that's pretty much what the Mi-17 does. So this is an older model. And I noticed in some of these variants, sometimes they move the windows or the doors. So these are not all simple reskins. If it was, that would be so easy. But I had to do a lot of research making this. And I have seven of these, so that's kind of crazy. And here, I just want to show you guys the older Mi-8 design that we had for the Minecraft Multiforce back in 2019. So been a long time and uh, I built this after Leaf asked me to build something for him. I didn't really realize the full significance this vehicle would have. It's like the backbone of their aviation. So here are like the new Mi 8s versus the old one. And special thanks to Owen Bross for commissioning this build. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be building a select three of them. So I'm going to be building this Mi 8 MTSH, this Mi 17 V5, and for the last one, the Mi 8 MT, I feel like having these three helicopters pretty much sufficient for whatever diorama you want to make. All right, so for the dimensions for all of them, they're going to be 37 blocks long and 29 blocks wide. So first, let's make the Russian Mi 8 MT SH, the assault transport helicopter. All right, so the first step, we'll go down here, add in this war fence, two blocks above the ground, grindstone wheel below it. First marine brick slab on top, and then two in the front, one in the back. And you're gonna build all of this. Slab, shot door, stairs. It's gonna be stripped birch wood, black glass pane, black glass block, daylight detector, black concrete. Gonna build all of this. 
green terracotta, and then the, this is going to be the rotor. Um, middle section is going to be anvil, skeleton skull, and this uh, dark oak uh, trapdoor is going to be 15 blocks long. But then next we'll add in you know IR, what is this, the IR gem or suppressor. Uh, build all of this like that. And this is going to be a mango slab here, and, and then it does drop down here, prismarine brick slab, going to be six blocks long, and the stairs slab, stairs. This part you actually don't need to add that part. And you know, this is going to be a turtle egg right here. Don't step on it or it will break. And then we have the Adidas stripes wall like that. What it looks like in the back section. Alright, so once we make the first layer, we're going to add it to the sides. So this is going to be um, stairs. Side of it with a corner both sides. Add lever below it facing the front trap doors both sides and this stripped birch wood. Now on this side, there's gonna be this uh, polished black stone brick wall here. Slabs like that, 3D effect and the windows and built everything. There's also gonna be a lever on this side as well. Make the V in the back, the red star, all these windows and stairs, the LA tech detector and the engines. And then we'll start to add in the stabilizers for the horizontal stabilizers, just dark prismarine slabs on the sides like that. And then the rear propeller, it's pretty simple, looks like that. On the other side, yeah, there's nothing really there. And here's what it looks like on this side. Feel free to pause the video. All right, so the next step, we'll just add in more stuff to the side of it. So, you know, fence gates here. Black glass panes over here, sign. And for the segment, it's gonna be light gray stained glass pane. And then we'll add in this bottom section for the fuel tank. Add fences, glass panes, the flares. This is also a dust shield up here. And in the back, we'll just extend this stabilizer by one block, slabs each side. And here's what it looks like on this side. Don't forget to add in this trapdoor at the bottom as for landing gear. And um, there also is this mangrove stairs here and the cabin heater that will stick out on the side. Alrighty, so the next uh, level, I guess, we're just uh, adding in the landing gear wheel here, lever, and we'll start to make the weapons pylon. I don't think you really do anything else. And the other side, pretty much do the same thing. All right, so the last step, we're just adding in more of the weapons pylon, uh, like the UPK gun pod, um, the S8 rockets, and this little skeleton skull for like avionics. Just have that on the weapons pylon. And the other side, pretty much the same design. And then uh, for the very last step, there's going to be a dark oak trap doors going to make the rest of the rotor blades. So the pattern design is going to be pretty much four, three, 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 one. And the other side is going to be four, three, 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 one. So same thing. And the backs, they're different per side. This side is going to be a two. Well, it's diagonal from this one, so two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one. Well, on this side, it's going to be one, two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. And here, it should look like that. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the assault helicopter. Now let's move on to the Ukrainian, the Mi-17 V5. All right, so for this version, we'll go down here. Again, add in a war fence, two blocks above the ground. Add a birch fence in front, grindstone wheel below it. And you just build all this. Don't forget the green candle on top of the black glass pane. Trap door over here. And uh, this segment over here is actually supposed to be a prismarine brick slab. So change that. Then two slabs here, and then this part slabs is going to be five blocks long. Button underneath here. There's some room break stairs upside down slab. And add in all this. As well as this top section, just copy everything you see right over here. 
All right, and then the rotor blade again, 15 blocks long, and that's going to be this oak button on the top of it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the first level. All right, so for the next level, um, we just built more to the side of it, adding in the 3D effect, the windows, slash doorway, and then all of this uh, polished blackstone slab. Stairs here, slab like that. And um, the other side, let's take a look at that. The camouflage is probably going to be different. It's not symmetrical. The start of the Ukrainian uh, roundel here. And here's what the tail looks like. Adding in the horizontal stabilizer there. And the rotor blade. All right, so the next step, uh, we'll just add more to the side of it. So glass panes. Uh, the cabin heater here, uh, the candle, if we didn't add that already, the fuel tank, and all the side details, and also the end of the stabilizers here. And the other side, here's what that looks like. All right, so next layer here, we'll just add in, um, some more detail to the side of this. So the landing gear and the start of the weapons pylon. The first one. Buttons in the back. And the other side, here's what that looks like. All right, the last step, uh, we're gonna finish off the weapons pylon, pretty simple. And we're also gonna do the other side right here. And then uh, we're going to take a look at um, the rotor blades. So this bar is going to be uh, 4, 3, 3, 3, 1. The other side is the same thing. So 4, 3, 3, 3, 1. And then this one's going to be 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. And then this side's going to be 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Mi-17 V5 for Ukraine. Now we're going to go to the last one. This is going to be the Mi-8 MT for Ukraine. So for the first step, we're going to add in this war fence, two blocks above the ground, grindstone wheel below it, and you're going to build all of this. <laughs> I'm not going to even bother explaining it. You should just look at it and build it. And then over here, the anvil, skull and skull in this part, 15 blocks long, dark oak trap door. That's pretty much it for this one. And notice at the bottom, there's actually this Ukrainian flag, um, I guess the logo they have on the bottom for identification. All right, so the next layer, we're building more on the side of it. Here's what that looks like. There's gonna be a stairs here, stairs right here, wall. This one has a curved back. The air intake stairs and then these are slabs and by the way for these ones actually use the debug stick to do this so um if you're building this like without debug stick i guess you can just curve it in one direction all right and then here's the back what it looks like and here's the other side adding in the rear tail rotor blade and all of that all right, so for the next step, I'm gonna add in all these glass panes like this. Gonna add in light blue and yellow for the first ones, just so that it looks nicer. And then this side, it has um, the cabin here at the bottom, so it looks like this down below here. You won't see this on the other side. Just keep that in mind. And just build everything like that. The other side. Here's what that looks like. All right, next step, we'll add in more over here. Weapons, pylon, landing gear. And the other side, here's what that looks like. And the last step here, we're gonna wrap it up, looks like this. So it uses a warped button for landing gear wheel. Rim color. 
And then for the rotor blade, it's going to be four, three, 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 one, both sides. Then this side is going to be two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one. And over here is going to be one, two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Mi 8 MT and all the Mi 8s. Oh my god, we have so many right now. And if you actually complete this, let me know down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.